the Stockton Unified School District is getting ready to host its first Family Empowerment Conference. It's a free event for families in the district. And joining us this morning is a superintendent of schools, Michelle Rodriguez. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, this morning. Yeah, good morning. Two-day event. What do you hope that parents really take away from this all? So I hope that they get the knowledge and skills to really advocate for their child, know what their child deserves and what are, is expected of us, and then hold us accountable. I always say to parents, um, together anything is possible, and so this is um, an example of us trying to do that work together. What do you find when you are able to speak with parents directly? What do you find might surprise them as far as just advocation and maybe not even knowing exactly what they can ask for? So I think they, they don't really know that they have the power to ask for a lot of resources and support sure. for their child. So we have a lot of resources within the schools and so they just need to ask for them. So ask for that social emotional support, for that tutoring, for the after school program, all the things that their child needs, um, we'll try to help and support. And I gotta imagine too, uh, it's one thing to send them to a webpage that has all the resources available totally different ball game when you get a chance to talk to them in person. Exactly. Uh, how much of a game changer can it be for these in-person conferences? Yeah, so we expect to have between 500 and 900 families there. Wow. So we're going to have a community resource fair where they'll be able to go according to their needs to the different resources that they have. And then on Saturday, the workshops. So workshops that they can choose with their feet, right? Choose what they want to learn about. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully empower them as this as the conference says, empower them um, to work with us and advocate for their child. Now, there's also going to be some fun to be had as well. Tell us a little bit about some of the events you have lined up. Yeah, so in um, Friday, we're going to have um, various food trucks there from tacos to gourmet burgers to fried chicken. <laughs> it's all free for them. We're going to have a lot of entertainment, our own student mariachi group, jazz band, Edison jazz band, and then Stockton Soul will be there as well. And Stockton Soul are um, a classically trained artists, um, classically trained musicians that are from the Stockton area yeah. that will be there to entertain them. Um, and then the resource fair. That is very cool. Is this something that you think you folks are gonna continue after this year? Yeah, so I'm big on tradition. So <laughs> something that we're trying to do is start building those traditions yeah. so that people can look forward to them. Okay, go ahead. I know we kind of touched on alert already, but go ahead and give us a little bit of the event information. How do folks attend? Do they have to sign up? So so we do want them to RSVP because mm -hmm. we do expect big crowds um, and so they can go to our QR code. We have a QR code that they can um, that work on. They can sign up on Fridays though if they want so they can come at Friday 5 o'clock, um, come for the fun, sign up for the workshops there and then on Saturday it will start at 8.30 all the way to 3 o'clock and so we hope to have hundreds and hundreds of families there. I'll be there. Staff will be there there all to serve the community. Very nice, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us this yeah, morning. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. This weekend. All right. Appreciate you. All right.